here is Jackie Turpin from Leamington Spa, and he's a weight of 11 stone 5, going to take on Fit Finley at 14 stone 13. Very smart gown, but you'll need more than a smart gown to take on this big fella from Ireland. The former world mid-heavyweight champion. Here he is, led as always by Princess Paula, his wife and manager, Dave Fitfinley from Carrick Fergus near Belfast, Northern Ireland, at 14 stone 13. Princess Paula gets in the ring, but uh, Dave takes his time as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event is a special catchweight contest to be wrestled over eight three-minute rounds. And yes, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. On my right, presenting from Leamington Spa, Jackie Turpin. In the red corner, presented by the beautiful Princess Paula. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Princess Paula asked me to announce her once again. She feels you have not understood the introduction. So here I go once again. The vivacious, the beautiful Princess Paula. Her Superman, Ed Henley. And our referee for this contest, Mr. Jeffrey Kay. Jeff Kay, the referee that takes over for this main bout of the afternoon, the special catch challenge match, where Jackie Turpin, there he is, his usual red and black gear with his name right on the front, Jackie there, Turpin on the other side. He takes on a man of 14 stone 13, nearly two and a half stone heavier. Dave Fitfinley from Carrick Fergus near Belfast, Northern Ireland. The former world mid heavyweight champion. And here we go for round one of eight three minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout inside the ring. And already Princess Paula outside the ring. And some last minute instructions. <laughs> And, of course, the final kiss for husband, Dave Finley. Still not through. Now, finally, perhaps we can get on with the bar. Dave Finley in his usual shamrock-fronted green and white uh, tights and boots. Now, wouldn't it be a great one if Jackie Turpin could really surprise this man and bring off a win here? Fast enough to take a lot of punishment. And Dave Finley doesn't like this speedy stuff against him too much. I think that uh, referee Jeff Kay there in the background I have to watch points very carefully here. Oh, nice quick one. Beautiful quick. Mayor there by Turpin. Double interlock. Now Turpin may be wrong to go into that. He's a real powerhouse, this boy from, from Belfast here. Look at that great forward win. Complaining. 
to anybody who'll listen and wasn't watching that drop kick. There's another slap. He won't like that. Oh. And the slam from Finley. Uh, I shouldn't be following that up. The first warning. Drive it this time. to Philly, right down on the upper chest. Just about five seconds to go. The Grovit and Jackie Turpin very happy to hear the bell go while that Grovit was on him so firmly by his opponent Finley. I don't know what Princess Paul is complaining about now to the referee. She's always got something to complain about, but I don't know what it is this time. Didn't like the slapping too much. Checking the hairstyle. <laughs> Second place, round two. Round two. No score yet. And once again, Finley not quite ready. illegal as well. And Jeff Kay will have to start doing something about this. In round two, ladies and gentlemen, the first public warning to Big Finley. We try to persuade Jeff K not to deliver that, but he got it just the same. The first public warning in round two. Toe and ankle, Finney. impression with that one. Ropes break, yes. Jackie Turpin had his hand on the bottom rope there. To finish and release. Finally does so. Just a minute to go in round two. seconds to take in this second round. Escape that one, I think, more or less. Jackie Turp in a minute. See how he's the only calm one in the ring, I think. Apart from the referee, Jeff Kay. This argument going on in the other corner all the time, but mostly the princess Paula screaming at the ref about something that we can't hear. Second to any, round three. 
On three, still no score, but one public warning against Dave Finley in the green and white tights. Nice move, that. He didn't take Turpin with him. Well, these special catch catchweight challenge catches are sometimes very effective for a time, but it looks as though Turpin's going to get the wrong end of this pretty soon now. He'd love to have sprung a surprise here, but I'm afraid it doesn't look too good. Nice switch. Oh, no. Can't be waiting for it. And a nice drop kick follow up, but no, he fell wrong as he came back. And Finley was waiting for it. Step back from it. And Turpin in trouble here. Two minutes left in the third, and Turpin really getting the weak in posting this now. Breaker over the shoulder, looks like the first submission. There it is, sir. first submission to uh, Finley. But it's going on continuing, and it's continuing. The referee spotted that. Let's see what Brian Crabtree has to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, in round three, for touching his opponent, after a submission had been given, the referee disallows the submission. It's allowed. So the submission doesn't doesn't stand, and Paula goes mad with the referee here. Let's have a look at exactly what happened there, shall we? First of all, bad landing for Turpin. Finley follows him up. Lifts backwards, gets the submission, and now he hasn't released. He pulls the legs in. He's already submitted, but he won't leave go, and he drops it. So no submission. It doesn't stand. And here we go. Second leg, round four. With round four, because that completed round three. And the supposed submission occurred. Ended the round. So we start round four. There's still no score, but Turpin getting an awful lot of weakness. And Finley with one public warning against him. And one submission disallowed already. Breaker over the shoulder. <laughs> oh, pile driver on his way has had a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks like that, yes. I'm afraid Jackie's not going to get up from this one. Nine. No, it's a knockout. Knockout by a pile driver in round four. So Finley, quite an easy win over Jackie Turk. Big Daddy arrived. All of his Union Jack gear. Here he comes. This is the one that Finley won't face. Big Daddy comes in to see if he can persuade him. Two or three times, Dave Finley and 
refuses to face Big Daddy in a tag contest. And Big Daddy's here to make sure he does next time. I hope when Finley finally does succumb to this pressure that we see it on television, that's all. And uh, quite a few men being brought into the ring to keep, make sure that Big Daddy stays away from Finley. <laughs> can they can they do it anyway Finley's disappeared by now Finley's still fighting from outside the ring but he won't come in disappears back to the dressing room and once again Big Daddy's made a point but maybe we'll see that tag match one day I hope so on television anyway with that rather curious finish it's goodbye from all of us at Wolverhampton. Go down, Have a good week. Down, Till next week. Finish, finish.